The railroad strike is partially Jimmy Carter's fault. Of course, uh, President Biden and Congress are doing a horrible job of handling it, and they are screwing over the railroad workers. But it was Jimmy Carter who did the Railroad Deregulation Act, the uh, Staggers Act, in 1978. Jimmy Carter passed a tremendous amount of deregulation, and Jimmy Carter's railroad deregulation led to uh, companies being able to cut costs and uh, screw over their workers and um, just be able to maximize their profits and monopolize. And over time, because of Jimmy Carter's massive railroad deregulation, it has led to the railroad industry becoming essentially a monopoly and being able to do horrible things to their workers, not like not providing paid sick leave. So Jimmy Carter, massive deregulator, caused a lot of problems with his railroad deregulation. And as a bonus, I will mention, of course, that Jimmy Carter's Airline Deregulation Act prohibited states from being able to regulate prices on airlines. So the reason airline prices are so astronomical is because Jimmy Carter uh, made it so that the airlines could just do whatever they want with their prices. He deregulated them. He made it so that the states could not regulate the prices. So Jimmy Carter, too much deregulation, basically a Republican on the domestic policies. And on the social issues, as I mentioned, he's literally pro-life, anti-choice. But, um, of course, foreign policy even more troubling on how hawkish he was with Iran and how he supported the Shah until the last moment, gave the Shah amnesty, aggravated the Islamic Republic, and um, basically provoked Iran into taking the hostages. And also, Jimmy Carter began funding, of the, funding an army of the Mujahideen because he wanted to overthrow the People's Democratic Party of Afghanistan. And when the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan, Jimmy Carter continued funding and arming the Mujahideen as a weapon against the Soviet Union. And of course, Ronald Reagan came along and also armed and funded the Mujahideen as a weapon against the Soviet Union. So uh, Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan had a lot of the same policies. And But basically, this video is about, of course, the railroads and how Jimmy Carter devalued the railroad industry. So understand that Jimmy Carter was a massive deregulator and he should not be rehabilitated. Never.